Hello, I'm Matthew Bielamont and welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. Today we're going to look at South Park Into the Pandaverse. Now, you've seen some of my videos where I talk about, uh, uh, that I ranted about, yes, the pandemic special and the vaccine special. Well, guess what? Today we're going to look at the trailer to the Pandaverse. So, let's take a look and, uh, let me tell you my thoughts, and uh, to be honest, I'm a tad bit surprised because I know that the title is a parody of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but uh, pandering, yeah, it's make fun of the woke Disney stuff. So let's take a look at this. Gee, I have a question. Why I am not laughing at this? I don't know. I think I need, here's the answer. Because it's been on the air for far too long since 1997. I mean, you still maintain the character designs and you're trying to outdo yourselves. And if you want to know more about this, uh, please uh, bear in mind to refer to my, my uh, rant videos. Links at the bottom on the the pandemic special and the vaccine special. Also, I highly recommend uh, the book Club Mesozoic by Scott Hayes. Where is that coming from? Oh, it's reminding me that the link's down below too. whoop de doo But still, I for one am not impressed by this because first of all, they depicted Stan is now a hot Latina girl. Cartman is a fat, is, is a hot black girl. Butters is a LGBTQ hot girl. Kenny's a hot Asian girl. Uh, I can see where they're going because of all the glorification of cross-dressing and pedophilia, that eyesore stuff. Ah, I mean, they're trying to outdo themselves and these girls are enough to please the dark side of deviant art. Huh. No wonder. So, yeah, I heard a lot of flack about DeviantArt, and DeviantArt was like the go-to source for the Tweak and Craig uh, love thing. Yeah, this is making DeviantArt look bad. Hey, don't go after me. Go after Matt Burnett, aka Animat. He says that kind of stuff, and I agree with him. So I'm anyway, going back. I think uh, if they can do that stuff with... Uh, I saw what they did to Kyle, too. I think she's also Latina or Indian. Oh, I'm not sure. But I'm thinking that, uh, that I, 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 I hope, uh, I hope they don't do something with Ike. Leave him alone. He went through enough hell already back in 2009. And I sort of feel, anyway, I mean, I mean, the part where Kyle is with Cartman, as a black girl, he says, I don't like what they're doing, this is so wrong. And PC principal saying, no, oh, nothing's wrong with with you, with us around here. It's something wrong with you. I think this is like how the new Disney is like lambasting the fans. And he's saying, oh, you don't like the way the, the way the reboot of Little Mermaid or Snow White is going? Well, Fuck you! That's what it's whole saying. That's what I'm trying to say. So, now you see my point on how much of a bad idea this is to begin with. It's been on the air for far too long. And, you wanna know a secret? You wanna know a secret? Come here. Come here, guys, I need to tell you. Hey, Trey Parker, Matt Stone. Wanna know how to make your show successful much better, huh? Well, okay, tell you what, here is the secret. 
change the character designs. Come on now. Change the character design. I've been seeing this character design. We've been seeing this character design for like two decades and haven't changed a bit. I know Simpsons changed a little. Dexter's Laboratory changed the character design. The Powerpuff, the original Powerpuff Girls changed the character design. And why can't, I don't know, South Park changes character design? You got a lot of money. You got a lot of cash. I mean, hire some character designs and you made a lot of money, a lot of cash, you made a big studio. I mean, use other animation programs like Adobe Animate or Toon Boom or TV Paint. I mean, use that money for that. I mean, I mean, hire some artists, some character designers to make be character designers. I mean, change the style of the art, make it more fluent. We've been seeing this like paper cutout design for a long time, and since I've been, since me and many people rage quit on the show, and we, and every time we change a channel or see that character design, or see or see a clip of it, or someone says change back, we get irked. And we have no choice but to avoid it. And that's the best thing one can do. So, also, you got enough money. You got enough money for voice actors. Come on now, hire Dan Kuski as a voice of Stan Marsh. Or hire Charlie Adler as a voice of Eric Cartman. You use Eric Bausa, who voiced Ike in one episode. But now, now... You're, you're saying that uh, you're reluctant to do so. I know, I know. Eric Balsa is busy voicing such characters like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Buster Bunny in Tiny Toons University. Going back to changing your character designs, I mean, when Danger Mouse got rebooted, it changes character designs. But why aren't you watching the 2015 reboot of Danger Mouse on Netflix? But going back... <sighs> I wish uh, this show would end because it's getting too much airtime. I mean, variety is a spice of life. And that's why a lot of people are going to streaming services. Hey, when I watch something, I go to a streaming service now because I don't like the way TV's going. I rather watch a good show. So there you have it. What do you think? Do you agree with me or disagree with me? Comment on the co down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a nice day.